Today I'm gonna to see if I can take this super evac and run it off of a DeWalt drill. First things first, I haven't ran this thing in about five years, so I'm gonna plug it in and see if the pump part even works. So this oil is about five years old. I bought a different pump and just stopped using this one entirely. So the goal is to just pull it into microns. I'm just gonna deadhead the entire manifold and see what happens. Bang! <laughs> it went straight under a thousand. This thing's actually going pretty good. All right, I'm not gonna keep it to 500, but I just wanted to see that it worked at all. So I know that the pump area works. I'm gonna pull the motor off and hook up to the shaft that is between the two and with the drill and see if I can get it to run. If I can pull these gauges into microns with a drill, I'll be extremely happy. If anybody was wondering what the connection point between a motor and the pump was, here you go. Now here we have the pump. This looks exactly like a regular fan shaft with a set screw. So I'm gonna take that out, probably back this entire piece off and I should be able to connect my drill straight onto that shaft. That did not work, it bent the Allen key. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna take this lid off and I'm gonna see if I can get to this shaft because I wanna hook the drill up to the shaft and then use this part to actually spin the pump. Let's see if this works. Forget my struggle, but this is the first time I've ever taken one of these apart. Man, those magnetic coils look freaking awesome. This is what we have. So I want, still want to get this piece and the shaft, which goes all the way through. I want to get, keep this ball bearing if I can. All right, I want to keep this shaft intact. So I wonder if I can remove all of this out the backward side and not have to go forward. Because this set screw is not being fun. It's not being easy. So trying to take it apart piece by piece didn't really work. So I've got it clamped down and we're just gonna cut the shaft and hope for the best because it's never gonna work again. Might as well have fun. Woo! Right through the shaft and into the metal. Got some nice sharp edges there. How are we looking here? All right, just gonna get this plastic off. Somehow get this guard off. There's a bearing in there. A little bit more work. So I finally got the shaft off and I had to shave down the sides because it was too big to fit in the drill. And now I can put a socket on top so I can use just an adapter to spin the pump. Time to put the two pieces together. And so we're gonna install the rubber piece that comes together, install our custom shaft, Hook up the drill, we're good to go. Damn, that pump is flying! This is faster than the real motor! See if we can get it to 500. All right. We are not going to 500 because that's a lot of work holding it with my wrist. Um, but as you can see, it totally works. It rocks. So if you're ever in the field and you need to pull a vacuum and there's no electrical around, I guess you can use your drill. <laughs>